everyone, and welcome to the RV Inspection and Care podcast and video. I'm Dwayne, and I'm a certified RV inspector, and today we're going to be talking about RV problems, specifically new RV problems coming right out of the factory, why they are happening, and what you can do to protect yourself if you're in the market for a new RV. There's no doubt about it. There are lots of complaints on the internet these days about new RV buyers talking about their laundry list of problems they're having with their brand new RV. And many times it's silly stuff, things that you would never expect to see coming out of an RV factory just a few years ago. Many people wonder if there's any quality control even left in the RV industry at this point. Well, it's a fair question to ask. But while we're on the subject of RV quality, let's talk about it a little bit. Let's talk about what RV quality means. And specifically what I want to share with you is that RV quality is very relative. It's relative mainly to what other RV manufacturers are turning out, not what other industries are producing. Now, let me explain what I mean by that. Let's suppose you go down and you buy a brand new car or truck at a dealer. Well, when you drive it off the lot, you sort of expect that it's going to be in the very best shape of its life right then. You expect that there's not going to be any major issues or problems with your brand new car or truck. And in most cases, that's true. Why? Well, it's because of the automated process that factories that produce these vehicles have put in place. It's so automated that there's very little chance for error as the vehicle goes down the assembly line. That's a great thing. It results in a wonderful product. But understand that RVs are not built that way. Rarely do they use some kind of automated process to build RVs these days. In most cases, they're built by hand. In fact, if you go to an RV factory and you look out over the floor there, it's probably going to remind you more of some kind of construction site that's indoors. And you know what? That's essentially what it is. You'll see crews working together as they go from RV to RV. Well, in normal times, if you have experienced crews, you know, people who they know each other, they know what each other does and doesn't do. They know their craft very well. They know the product that they're working on very well. Well, if you had that kind of crew working on an RV, in many cases, it's going to turn out to be a pretty good RV. But understand that COVID decimated all of that, just threw it into a tailspin because the manufacturers suddenly did not know who was going to show up for work from day to day. They didn't have an experienced crew working together in many cases. In fact, they were just trying to patchwork together crews and sometimes hired inexperienced people because they just needed someone to fill the slot. So you can imagine what that does to quality when that takes place. Well, at the same time, supply chain issues hit them like it did all of us and most industries out there, which means that they all of a sudden didn't have parts and equipment that they normally install in their RVs. Well, that threw everything into a confusing state as well. At the same time that all of this is going on, RV sales went through the roof. People decided that they wanted to socially distance and that RVs was a great way to do it and still have fun. So they bought them like there was no tomorrow. Well, what does that mean? It means that the factories were trying to keep up with unprecedented demand 
while having fewer experienced workers and a shortage of parts to deal with. At the same time, quality control did suffer because if you're trying to get RVs out the door as fast as you can to meet the demand, well, there's one thing that you can cut back that will make the process faster. That's quality control. Because quality control does slow down the process some as the RV moves down the assembly line. So quality control was dialed back quite a bit. Well, all of this just led to huge RV problems leaving the factory. Even brands that were known, I mean, for years, for turning out great products, very high quality, they suddenly started to have issues as well. They were affected. Now, I'm not making excuses for these RV factories or manufacturers, because quite frankly, I think they brought a lot of their issues on themselves in the last decade. Some of the decisions that were made were not really the best decisions, and the priorities have not been the right kind of priority. So I'm not really making excuses for them, but I am trying to explain what they went through. However, if we stop right here and we're just going to talk about RV manufacturers and the factories, well, I got to tell you, we're not, we're not getting the whole picture here at this point. That's because when RVs leave the factory, they go to the RV dealer. Now, dealers get these RVs in, and it is their responsibility to go through and make sure that they inspect these RVs, find issues, and get them resolved before the customer takes that RV home. It, they are a critical part of this process. Now, admittedly, they got overwhelmed with all of these issues and problems that they don't normally see coming out of the factory. I, I admit that. However, understand they have been making money hand over fist for the last few years. So they could have allocated some resources to doing a better job of pre-delivery inspection on these units, making sure that their customers were happy with the product they got. And I have to say, as far as the factories and the manufacturers are concerned, they have stepped up to the pump. They have uh, allowed all these issues to be fixed under warranty in most cases. So the dealers could definitely have done a better job. However, what they have done is they have done a great job of public relations of blaming the factories. And people have bought that, that it's all the factory's fault. Uh, in fact, in my Facebook group, I put up a poll a little while back to ask who that my group felt was mostly responsible for all of the problems with RVs these days, these new RVs. Overwhelmingly, it was all the factory's fault. Well, it's not really. It is a combination between the factories, the manufacturers, and the dealers. In fact, many RV inspectors that I know of can testify that dealers do often very little to resolve issues before they sell an RV to a customer. In fact, there's getting to be more and more dealers that deny customers the, even the opportunity to perform an inspection on a new RV before they buy it. Why? Because they don't want to slow down the sales process. They want to get you in that RV, get you out the door as quickly as possible, and get as much money from you as they can. So once again, the whole issue of RV problems with new RVs is not just the factory. It's not just the manufacturer. It also uh, involves RV dealers as well. But let me say this. There is a remedy for all of this. 
Yes, there are problems coming out of the factory. Yes, the dealers are not doing what they should do as well as they should. However, if you get an RV inspection by a certified NRVIA inspector before you buy that RV, you're going to be way ahead of the game. Yes, I understand that that money will come out of your pocket. However, wouldn't you do that to avoid all this frustration and irritation and anger that you're going to get from having to deal with these problems from the factory for the next year to year and a half while they're being resolved? You see, inspection will help you resolve all of that because the inspector is going to go through and find the problems in that RV. Now, one important point I want to make here too, that you really have to understand is that you generally get what you pay for in the RV industry. And what I mean by that is if you're buying a lower cost entry level RV, well, you're probably going to have more problems in those units than you do on the higher end models. It's the way the RV industry is set up. I agree that it shouldn't be that way. It should be that you get the same attention to quality regardless of how much you spend, but that's not the case in the RV industry. So understand that. Now, here is the formula for success then. As I mentioned, get it inspected. Yes, even a new RV, get it inspected. Get the list of issues and problems from the inspector, hand that to the dealer and tell them you will take that RV as soon as all the issues on that list are fixed to your satisfaction. And do not take delivery of that RV. And what I mean by delivery is don't take it off the dealer lot until you have all the issues resolved and under warranty by that dealer. Now, if they're not willing to do that, then I can't tell you what to do, but I can tell you what I would do. I would find a different dealer to work with. So my friends, this is the formula for dealing with RV problems that are coming out of the factory. And if you'll follow this advice, now that you understand what the problems are, why they're happening, and you know how to resolve them, if you follow this advice, then you will be able to get the RV you deserve from the very first day of your ownership. Well, that's it for now. Have safe and happy travels, my friends. Until next time.